Pi. All right, I know Pi this week brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. I know Pi is when we look at the latest and greatest cool stuff and more on digikey.com. This is Jonah Tools. This is uh, one of their graphics. I grabbed that from Twitter. What did they make and what is this week's INMPI that is on DigiKey? Okay, so last week's INMPI was physically big, so do the office, but this one's physically small. So we thought we could, we would do this uh, from the desk of Lady Ada. So uh, this week's INMPI is, tap you, um, the uh, Jonard uh, micro deburring tool. And so, you know, deburring tools are not new. I know you've probably been like, I've seen these before. Why is this an INMPI? But I remember the first time I saw a deburring tool, I was at the Media Lab. Um, and Saul Griffith was showing me, like, you know, I drilled something out and I was like trying to file the hole or the cut. And he was like, They're gonna, that's going to take forever. It's a pain. You have to like jig it. You have to hold in the vise and you're going to mar it. Um, the best thing to use is to use a deburring tool. And he picked this up and handed it to me. And I was like, he showed me how to use it. I was like, oh my God, this thing is so cool. So I do recommend if you don't own one, uh, it's a good idea. They're only 20 bucks and they are super useful. So a deburring tool, I mean, this is, I just grabbed the graphic. Um, basically, it's this curved S-blade that sits in a ball bearing, and it's got a nice handle. Um, traditionally, they were used for cleaning uh, pipes. So, like, if you're a plumber or an electrician and you're cutting a conduit or a copper pipe or PVC pipe, you cut it, and, you know, there's all these little, like, bits and pieces and burrs left over from the cutting edge. Uh, and you use a deburring tool to clean up, especially if you want to fit pipes together uh, and you want them to be flush uh, or you want to glue things and you didn't want to have any, uh, as my parents would say, schmutz in the way. So this is what a deburring tool normally is used for, but it's also used for, um, and this is a you know, nice demo. Um, it also can be used for other stuff like 3D prints and PCBs, um, uh, especially when I was... Um, making PCBs with uh, copper etching, you know, I would I would laminate and then copper etch with ferric chloride or cooper chloride, the, uh, the copper off, uh, and then I would cut the PCBs down with, um, I, you know, I can even show them my, my uh, diagonal cutters, not diagonal cutters, my um, sheet metal cutters. They always leave like kind of a, a gross burr at the end and I would use the deburring tool to clean it up and make it nice and pretty. Um, so, you know, it's pretty easy to use. You just grip with your hand. It's nice because you don't have to use a, um, vise and you don't have to jig your tool. So it's like, especially for round stuff or delicate stuff, it doesn't get hurt. And then you just kind of do this elegant swiping motion, which I'll show you. Uh, it takes a few moments to get used to it. If you've never, you know, the first time you'll, you'll get stuck, but just practice it for a minute or two and then you'll have a beautiful deburred, uh, output. Um, and then I found some photos of, because I was like, oh, like, can I find any photos or videos of people deburring? Turns out there aren't any. I mean, I'll show it live. But I did show, I did get this uh, nice picture. Um, this is an amplifier. Uh, actually, can you look at the next picture? This is, I think I swapped the two pics. So this is like an amplifier I saw on, on Flickr. Um, somebody, you know, they printed out this um, a template. You, you paste it on top of a box, and then you use a hole saw or a drill to cut through, but you see how, if you go back uh, the previous one, um, it's all really rough. This is exactly where you would use a deburring tool. You go in and you just scrape away and it's like, so satisfying. You scrape away all those burrs and you get like a beautiful, uh, slightly countersunk finish. Uh, and then don't forget also to pick up extra blades. The blades do go dull, especially if you're using them on metal. Um, you can use, uh, these uh, deburring tools on, you know, brass and copper, mild steel, not stainless steel, aluminum is fine. Uh, of course, all sorts of plastics will work on glass. Um, anything kind of soft. Foam is too soft, but, you know, maybe uh, modeling foam is okay. Like the kind of firm stuff that you would use with uh, your Modella or your um, uh, CNC, you know, not, not uh, super hard stuff, but like the kind of firm stuff. And of course, all sorts of woods um, as well. So uh, also I did want to shout out while, you know, after you book your order on DigiKey, uh, go check out the Jannard Tools TikTok, which is filled with really good videos on how to use hand tools um, and like details and they answer questions. You can ask them questions about their tools and they'll answer them. 
as well. But for now, I thought maybe before we pop over the video, I could show a live, live demo of yeah. this tool. Let me make sure I'm... Okay, good. So yeah, so this is the handle. I'll say um, the handle does not open. There's some tools I've seen that the handle opens to hold the um, blades, but this one doesn't. Uh, to change the blades really easy, you, you pull this down and this releases. To reinstall, uh, you pull it in and it does a nice click. And then this moves freely. Um, so for example, you know, this is a nice 3D print, but let's say you had um, a burr edge on the 3D print. I like to put my thumb to support it. And then you can just scrape to create a nice edge. You can see like it's, it's giving me a nice, um, much smoother, non-sharp edge. And this is resin. So it goes from having like a nice sharp edge to a nice smooth edge. Um, the other thing I use it for, hold on, it's to, uh, you know, clean up the edge. Also, you can see this, this makes a nice uh, clean, smooth cut and you'll get a smooth deburring edge and then you can go the other direction as well. So a nice little tool, um, definitely easier than sanding, especially if you, if you have stuff like plastic that you can't sand or it'll um, gum up your sandpaper or your file, um, this doesn't gum up because it's got a blade on it. And then finally, not recommended, but something I do do. But again, if you're doing this, make sure that you are doing it with a vacuum or over a trash can is, if you have a hole, like I had holes in my PCBs that were mounting holes that were too small, um, you can go in and like very carefully, you can either countersink them or enlarge them. Not what it's supposed to do, it's not meant for fiberglass. And of course you wanna clean up the fiberglass dust real well, but I have done it. Um, it works of course better on paper phenolic. Um, for paper phenolic, it works great. So sometimes if like I'll mill a shape or I'll cut a shape and I need to have it be a little cleaner or a little bit bigger, I'll go in with the deburring tool as well. So deburring tool, this one's mine. I actually bought it for myself, but also a great INMPI. And that's this week's INMPI. Do you want to um, play their video? Yeah, let's play their video because they do that. They have more Yeah, details. I should say, you know, available on DigiKey. They have some stuff. Uh, there's a few left in stock, so make sure to get it. And we're going to play this video and see you on the other side in two minutes. Hey guys, Ed here from John R. Tools. Today I want to talk to you about one of our latest new products, the DB-5. The DB-5 is a microduct deburring tool. This tool is perfect for prepping the inside of microducts for termination or connectorization. The tool features the following. A high-speed steel blade that has 0.71 inches of cutting edge S-shaped design makes it nice and easy to use. Ergonomic rubberized handle, which gives you comfort and good secure grip. Easily removable blade. We sell replacement blades. The replacement blade part number is DB-5RB. Simply pull the collet down, insert the blade back, listen for the click, and the tool is ready to go. Let me show you how to use it. Simply take the tool, insert it into the duct, rotate several times. You now have a nice clean chamfered end. Doesn't matter the size of the tube, it'll work on something very small as this as well. And you can see nice edge on it. This tool will also work on PVC pipe, high density polyethylene tubes and piping. It will also work on steel, copper, and aluminum conduit or ducts. Thank you for watching our video. Please take a moment, like, share, comment below, subscribe to our channel to see the latest videos from Jonar Tools.